guys get it you know voiceless voice you have no voice ladies and gents in today Yu-Gi-Oh tcg video i'm coming at you with the god tier one well, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding tier one voiceless voice deck for the brand new tcg format this is a brand new deck that just came out of phantom nightmare alongside snakes you know what i'm saying this deck is actually insane especially here in tcg deck, this deck is better than it is in the ocg my personal opinion in today's deck profile i'm gonna showcase you guys on why voiceless voice is one of the best if not the best ritual monster deck ritual based deck ever created we're going back in time very first summoning mechanic we're targeting rituals today and we're starting off with voiceless voice deck is insane and most importantly showcase you guys some bread and butter combos that you guys can utilize when it comes to playing this deck and showcase you guys a guide on how to properly play against two three seven infinite hand traps here with this deck so ladies and gents smash thumbs up button for more Yu-Gi-Oh deck profiles and let me know in the comments below what you guys are excited most when it comes to the brand new Yu-Gi-Oh tcg format all right guys without further ado let the profile begin all right guys so the deck breakdown so first and foremost i'm gonna showcase you guys the main starter cards that you want to be playing for this deck right here then i'll showcase you guys some utility cards you can play in the deck and last but not least we're gonna go over some non-engine that you guys want to focus on whether it would be board breakers or hand traps all of the personal preference but this is what i'm playing for the current 2024 Yu-Gi-Oh format so without further ado guys let's begin so first and foremost you want to start off by playing three copies of the brand new low the prayers of the voiceless voice she's absolutely amazing and she's the main starter for the entire deck so what she does is that if you ritual summon exactly one light ritual monster warrior or dragon with a card effect that requires the use of a monster this card can be used as the entire tribute so if this card is normal summon or special you can place one voiceless voice continue to spell a trap from your deck face up to your spell and trap card zone so this card right here it doesn't lose to ash which is absolutely insane if a light ritual monster warrior or dragon is special summon to your field special summon guys while this card is in your graveyard except during the damage step you can special summon this card so she has three insane effects where the entire tribute for a ritual summon can be using her whenever she's summoned you basically get to get access to any voices voice power trap card to your side of the field you activate it from your deck face up and last but not least whenever a light ritual monster whether or not it's a warrior or a dragon while she's in the graveyard you can special summon her to your side of the field which is absolutely insane so low the prayer of the voices voice she's one of the best starter cards in the entire deck and she is the card that you want to get access to as quickly as possible next off another key starter for the deck is you're playing triple copies of a diviner of the hero what she does is that if this card is normal summon or special you can send one fairy monster from your deck or extra deck to the graveyard and if you do increase this card's level by that monster's level until the end of this turn the most important effect is that if this card is tributed you can special summon one level two or lower fairy monster from your hand or deck except for the binder of the herald so to pair off with the binder of the herald making her a one card combo is you want to play the one copy of trias hierarchia right here and the reason why trias isn't here is because on summon you want to activate diviner's ability to dump trias to the graveyard and what it does is that during the main phase if this card is in your hand or graveyard you can tribute up to three fairy monsters and special summon this card from your graveyard if you tribute one nothing happens but if you tribute two plus destroy one card opponent controls and if you tribute three fairy monsters you draw two cards but the main important ability is that you want to summon divine of the herald dump trias to the graveyard activate trias tribute divine of the herald and then once the divine of the herald is tributed she gets the basic special in low the prayers of the voices voice directly from the deck which is absolutely amazing so like low is a one card starter alongside with divine of the herald is also a one card starter as well which is amazing so if you open up a trias you can activate diviner to send another card from your extra deck like Herald the Arc Light or Entis from your extra deck to the graveyard instead. Uh, so drawing this isn't necessarily a brick if you pair it off with Diviner of the Herald. Uh, but nonetheless, Diviner and Low are just great starter cards that you want to open up with for this Voices Voice deck right here. Regardless, Diviner of the Herald and Low is like the main starter cards for the deck right here. Next, we'll play three copies of Saphira, Dragon Queen of the Voices Voice. What she does is absolutely phenomenal. You can discard this card, send one ritual spell from your deck to the graveyard. Then you can add one light ritual monster where you're a dragon from your deck or graveyard to your hand so she's another starter card which is a searcher which helps you get access to of course your skull guardian and what she does is that you can banish this card from your graveyard ritual summon one light ritual monster where you're a dragon from your hand by turning monsters from your hand or field whose total levels equals or exceeds the level of the ritual monster so she's a searcher and it's also kind of like a ritual spell uh for the deck which is absolutely insane so you want to maximize so when actually playing 
three copies of Sophia, Dragon Queen of the Voice Voice in the deck right here. Off to more of your starter cards, you'll play three copies of Barriers of the Voices Voice. This card is absolutely insane. While you control low and a light ritual monster, your opponent monster can only target ritual monsters for attack. Also, your opponent cannot target light monsters you control with card effects. So this card protects you from cards again, Perm. Of course, Effect Veiler. And it protects low from being destroyed by battle. So the only thing that they're forced to attack into is, of course, your big ritual monsters, which you have access to on the field while Barrier of the Voice's Voice is face up on the field. During your main phase, which is the most important effect for this card, you can add one Voice's Voice or one Skull Guardian ritual monster from your deck to your hand. So it's more searches for the deck. So low gets you access to Barrier, and Barrier helps you get access to basically any of your missing combo pieces in the deck right here. Uh, which is insane so triple copy is a barrier of the voice voice it has a built-in protection ability and also a search effect which you can activate every single turn barrier of the voice voice is absolutely ridiculous next off continuing off with your starters the one one for one low is a level one monster which is insane uh three copies of pre-preparation rights this card searches a ritual spell and add one ritual monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand whose name is mentioned on that ritual spell so you obviously get to ask Serevius directly from your deck to your hand, which is a built-in targeting protection for the deck, which is absolutely insane. So preparation rights is absolutely ridiculous for the deck. And last but not least, you're going to play three copies of Pot of Prosperity for your consistency lines. Help you get access to low or any ways to get to low as quickly as possible. And if you already have access to low, this just digs through your deck for non-engine, which you can use to interrupt your opponent during their turn. So of course, prosperity is just really important in this deck right here. Uh, next off, you're going to play two copies of skull guardian protector of the voices voice this is the main omni the gate for the entire deck and it's the, the boss monster of the deck what this card does is that you can ritual summon this card with prayers of the voices voice against 2050 attack while you have low the prayers of the voices voice on your field or in your graveyard okay and what this card does is that if this card is ritual summon you can add one voices voice monster or one ritual monster warrior or dragon from your deck to your hand which is amazing and the last ability is insane because this card is a built-in on negate when your opponent activates a card or effect while you control low prayers of the voices voice quick effect you can eat the activation you do destroy that card so it becomes basically 4100 while on the field which is absolutely insane it searches on ritual summon and last but not least it has a built-in on negate so like three really insane effects in one card this is the main focus of the entire deck bring out the skull guardian and last but not least you'll play two copies of Cerevis, the ancient and ascended it's a dragon ritual light and you can ritual summon this card with spirit's blessing during either player's turn when your opponent activates a card or effect that targets a monster control you can discard this card negate the activation so this card's a built-in protection so this card protects your monster from cards like effect villain and also impermanence which is absolutely insane and during either player's turn when your opponent would summon a monster you can return this card from your field to your hand negate the special summon if you do banish that monster so basically it's a built-in inherent summon in the gate which is absolutely insane so uh, this card is like one of the best interruptions and also protector uh, for the entire deck to ensure that your low or your divine of the herald successfully resolves their ability uh, which is insane so double copy of Serevis, of course your ritual spells double copies of prayers of the voices voice uh, this card can be used to reach something like ritual monster you must also tribute light monster from your hand or field whose total level equals or exceeds the ritual monster if a face-up light monster you control leaves the field by the opponent's card except during the damage step you can banish this card from your grave Special one, Serevis, the Ancient and Ascended, Sephiro, Queen of Dragons, or Skull Guardian, Protector of the Voices Voice, from your hand or deck, ignoring its summoning condition. So, honestly, uh, so this card is one of the best cards that helps you play around Super Poly, which is absolutely insane. One copy of Serevis, Dragon Sage of the Voices Voice. What this card does is that you can special summon this card from your hand by shuffling two spells from your hand and or graveyard into the deck, including a ritual spell. When your opponent activates a card or effect, you can return this card from the field to the hand. Special one, Light Ritual Monster from your hand or deck but shuffle into the deck during the end phase of the next turn so this card helps you tag out into basically any of your ritual monsters whenever it bounces itself back to the hand which is really good only one copy of Cerevis dragon sage is all you need for the deck in my personal opinion and last but not least for your engine you're gonna play the one radiance the voices voice what this card does is during the main phase you can activate one of these effects shuffle one light ritual monster warrior or dragon or one ritual spell from hand or graver into the deck and if you do add that add it to your hand or special summon it but the second effect is what makes it insane target cards your opponent controls up to the number of light ritual monsters warrior or dragon you control destroy both this card and as many of the targeted cards as possible so this card kind of like acts as an acres attack uh for the deck which is absolutely insane so radiance the voice of the voice is absolutely ridiculous which you can easily set up on the very first turn so that's pretty much it for your main engine for the deck off your non-engine i decided to actually main deck 
three super polymerization i think this card is absolutely insane this format if people don't play around it you can easily punish and break entire boards off just a single super polymerization uh next i'm playing three copies of ash blossom and joy spring three copies of nibiru the primal being obviously three copies of infinite impermanence and last but not least the one called by the grave for the 41st card of the deck right here so that's pretty much it for the non-engine these cards are obviously interchangeable alongside the super polys that are right here uh but these are just the cards that i play right now if i were to play this deck in a competitive Yu-Gi-Oh tournament setting so that's pretty much from the main deck let's go off to your extra deck real quick off to your links the best link monster in your extra deck is dynamondo this card is absolutely insane it requires two monsters including a ritual monster if this card is special you can target one card in the field and one ritual monster in your graveyard shuffle both into the deck this card is absolutely insane it's secondary ability where it becomes insane during your opponent's turn you can tribute this card and target one ritual monster in your graveyard either add it to your hand or special summon it so this card right here is ridiculous dynamondo is insane helps you get access to any ritual monster that's in your ex uh that's in your grave which is really good uh the one liner the light charmer of lustrous where you're since, since your entire deck is light relinquish anima dark dark charmer gloomy sp little knight and last but not least the axis code talker uh right here for your links off to your xyz you want to play the one super star slayer typhon sky crisis obviously for your synchros because you're playing diviner uh bear in the fleur these are all synchros you get access to uh chaos angel xl synchron which is really good and herald of the arcolite this you can easily send to the graveyard using diviner's ability or elder entity entis uh which is absolutely insane so more utility cards uh for the deck right here and last but not least for your super poly targets you want to play the one more dragon of the swamp and last but not least garua wings of residence life for your super poly targets for this format so that's pretty much for the main deck let's go on with some of the better butter combos which you guys can utilize when playing this deck right here supreme pro the best competitive trading card game sleeves ever easily gliding easy shuffling durable and is what all the pro players use get yours now in a variety of different colors it's the only protection your cards need Visit tsx1.com now. Link in the description box below. Today's combo will show you guys some bread and butter combos that you guys can do with this deck utilizing just one card. So I'll show you guys two water card combos, low and also hero diviner. And the last combo, I'm gonna show you guys some unique hands that can actually play around two to even three hand traps which is absolutely insane. Hand traps like draw and imperm. People think that draw and imperm or veiler would hurt this deck, but let me show you guys on the goo what this egg is able to do through hand traps which is absolutely insane so guys i'm very excited to showcase you guys this voices voice deck before we begin these sleeves are almost sold out for the sp whites for this current wave so guys get them while you guys still can i believe we still have five bundles left i'll tell you guys right now these are the best tournament card game sleeves you guys will ever need and the only sleeves you'll ever use for the best easy shop easy gliding use any of these coupon codes on the screen for 10 off your entire order so without further ado what can low the prayers of the voices of voice do as a one card combo so first and foremost normal something low activate lowest effect you know what i'm saying we're gonna put barrier of the voices voice to our side of the field protects us from targeting which is insane activate barriers effect what you're gonna do next is you're gonna search your safira directly from your deck to your hand so such so a dragon queen of the voices voice you're gonna activate safira's ability it her to the graveyard you're gonna dump prayer of the voice of voice to the grave you're gonna search your skull guardian now what's next is that you are gonna banish your Sephiro from the graveyard tribute the low as the entire tribute of the skull guardian summon skull guardian this will be chilling one low will be chilling two okay low since a monster since a ritual since low since skull guardian was summoned you're gonna activate her effect she can revive herself back from the grave skull guardian will search your severus directly from your deck to her hand uh, which is absolutely phenomenal now what i like to do in this situation is i will use these two to make dynamundo right here make dynamundo right here and now you're just gonna end your turn with dynamundo barrier and Cerevis in your hand so on your opponent's drop base activate dynamundo tribute itself to special summon your skull guardian from the graveyard this was properly summoned all right now once skull guardian is summoned you're gonna trigger off your lowest ability to special summon itself to your side of the field acting lowest effect to basically place the radiance your side of the field which is absolutely phenomenal so in this instance right here you have an omni gate and you also have a disruption 
and also a targeting protection with Silveris that's in your opening hand. And this is also off just one card combo right here. The standard one card combo uh, with the voice's voice right here, which is absolutely amazing with uh, the protection right here. So that's pretty much it for combo number one. Uh, guys, you still have the Radiance. Target cards your opponent controls up to number of Light Ritual Monsters, Warrior Dragon Control. Destroy both of it and discard. So he has the Omni Gate with a bunch of non engine in your hand, like hand traps or board breakers. You can have multiple layers of interruptions on top of the standard uh, low uh, Prayers of the Voice's Voice one card combo, right? So that's pretty much it. You still have an insane follow up with Barrier. Uh, the following turn, if your opponent can't get rid of this, you just get like infinite searches off Barrier, which is insane. So this combo is just absolutely disgusting. Uh, in my personal opinion all right ladies and gents off to the second combo it's very similar to opening up with low but you have divine of the herald so you're normal summon divine of the herald uh activate of course diviner's ability you are going to send of course trias to the graveyard right here and then trias it's so since it's a fairy monster you can attribute herself uh attribute the diviner okay right here summon trias activate diviner's effect whenever she's attributed you get a special of course low directly from the deck now you're gonna activate low very standard you are gonna use her ability to put barrier of the voice voice to your side of the field now you're gonna activate barriers effect to search Sephira. exact same end board but just with a different one card combo Sephira effect send herself to the grave add of course skull guardian by dumping the prayers to the graveyard now what you do next is very simple you're gonna banish Sephira in the graveyard tribute the low right here on the field summon skull guardian Activate Skull Guardian's ability. You are going to search the Severus right here. If you have another spell in the grave, you can also even search for the Dragon Sage instead. It's all for personal preference. You can add on an Inherent Summon the Gate with uh, Severus, uh, but we're just going off. It's just one card combo, right? Uh, so you summon Skull Guardian, search Severus, low will trigger off your ability to summon itself. All right, now you link these two off into Dynamundo right here, which is really, really good. And now you have same thing, same similar end board. Uh, right here, but you have an extra body on the field, which is actually pretty cool. All right. Now, on your opponent's turn, Dynamundo, tribute itself, summon back Skull Guardian, activate low, low effect triggers. She summons, of, she activates her effect to place the Radiance to her side of the field, which is absolutely phenomenal. So, similar end board, but you have an extra body with Trias that's on the field. Pretty good off the one card combo with the Severus protection ability as well. Uh, which is absolutely insane so yeah you kind of want to focus on like trying to set up this end board uh with this deck right here like you want to have barrier on the field radiance on the field and also the skull guardian that's on the field as well as an additional omni gate uh, with low on the field so they can't kill her they have to have only attacking to him this is a, a protection both these are protection this is an interruption and this is omni gate backed with a bunch of like hand traps in your opening hand you pretty much just win the duel if, you can, if you're able to control uh, this current game state of the field right so that's pretty much it for the second combo now how do you play through hand traps let's talk about it ladies and gents three card combos occur more often than not you know what i'm saying if you open up with like a combination of these cards in your opening hand you can actually not only make an insane end board but you can also easily eat two hand traps like drone lockbird and also infinite impermanence which a lot of decks are meaning three of in basically every single competitive deck in today's format so first and foremost what would you do right you want to always want to try to activate the, the biggest search cards first whether it'll be preparation of rights or Sephira, you want to try to search out cards as quickly as possible before you commit into your plays right so first and foremost let's say this is your opening hand you're gonna activate Sephira's effect right Sephira will basically search your skull guardian and you you'll dump prayers to the grave right so you're dumping prayers so if this resolves and on resolution your opponent activates draw lockbird so you're under draw now so your opponent draws you boom all right you cannot search for the rest of the turns of skull guardian you can't search uh, right here and also barrier will not be able to search if you activate low's ability so low can play under draw obviously which is why she's absolutely insane but what would you do here okay let's bait out another hand trap so you're gonna normal some diviner okay and you want to keep low in your hand uh, because she can be used as an entire tribute right and uh, like you don't want to normal summon low here and then get and then get hurt uh on diviner i uh, like you don't want to normal summon low here and then lose to imprint right you want to summon diviner first like if you have skull guardian in your hand with low and already have Sephira in the graveyard, this can already eat a lot of hand traps already, right? So you're gonna normal the diviner. And obviously, this is a way to get access into your low. So your opponent immediately here ha has the imperm here. So you're gonna imperm. So they activate imperm. Okay. Imper the diviner of the herald. Cool, that's fine. It's level two. Now what you can do now is that you can activate your Sephira's effect, banish itself, 
of course, send Lowell to the graveyard to summon Skull Guardian. Skull Guardian will not be able to use the search, but Lowell will trigger off an ability since a ritual monster summoned. Summon herself to the side of the field. Now you activate Lowell's ability. Once she's summoned, you basically get, get to set right here your radiance of the voiceless voice uh right here to your side of the field so radiance is absolutely insane uh because you don't need to search right so so far you're already eating two hand traps and this is what this board can give you through hand two hand traps right so now you act you've set radiance here you want to activate radiance effect you're going to shuffle back the prayers to the graveyard you're going to spread someone of course your second Sephira from the deck which is another ritual spell in the grave so you shuffle back the ritual spell prayers summon Sephira from the deck now diviner is a level two right so you can use diviner and also Sephira right here you can synchro summon into Axel Starter's Dragon. Axel Starter's Revive Act, the Diviner of the Herald, which is level two. Use these two to make Baron the Fleur, uh, which is absolutely insane, right here. And now you use these two right here, which is absolutely ridiculous, to summon Dynamundo. Okay, right here. So this is eating two hand traps, ladies and gents. Two hand traps has already been eaten. You end on this exact same board. Uh, but it obviously requires a three card combo obviously but like still it's what to show you guys the unique ways that this deck can actually play through hand traps right now on your opponent's turn obviously okay you activate dynamundo provide back skull guardian okay activate low summon yourself back since skull guardian was summoned low trigger his ability to basically put the barrier to your side of the field which now your opponent cannot target your stuff right which is absolutely amazing uh so ladies and gents this is literally your end board right here uh, which is ridiculous eating through two hand traps right and on baron it's called guarding the gate radiance and also barrier for follow-up uh, which is absolutely ridiculous eating through droll and also infinite permits this deck can play through a lot of different hand traps depends on the depends on the scenarios that you have in your first and opening hand but this is some of the cool things that this deck can do uh, which is absolutely ridiculous and the follow-up is just even more insane to push for insane lethal right so ladies and gents that's pretty much it for the deck profile and the combos of this video, let me know your thoughts about this deck in the comments below. I really hope you guys learned something in today's video. Showcase you guys three combos and the deck profile. This is definitely a top tier deck for sure. Top three deck in this format. And I'm looking forward to be playing this deck at the YCS. So guys, look out. This deck is absolutely insane. And it's one of the best decks in this format, hands down. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is your boy Sam. I'm Team Sam signing out. All right, guys. Peace.